شدن قیمت بزنید آقا بری بریم بارون تا بسید برنجیم آقا مرد بریم جی ایدی بریم تیم دیگه نم مرد بریم تا بسید بی مرد بریم جی ایدی دی Starting from definition, intraluminal blood loss visible or occult anywhere from oropharynx up to ligament of breeds is called upper GIT beads, causes EUD, esophageal varices, esophagitis, aortoduodenal fistula, malady west tear, bone half syndrome, gastric erosion, upper GI cancer, arteriovenous malformations. Clinical features, hematemesis, symptoms of anemia, syncope, melina. Hematemesis may be very severe or less severe. Investigation, general history, examination, FCC, cross-matching blood units. Specific coagulation profile, RFT, LFT, urea and electrolytes. This patient involves confirming the diagnosis of the type of endoscopy. Variety, define the circulatory status, seek evidence of liver disease, and identify the comorbids. Variety is confirmed by fast road coding system. Management involves maintenance of IV, EPI, oxygen in the case of shock, treat the comorbids, and broad spectrum antibiotics. Management, plate management is via the endoscopy. Use thermal and mechanical modality or DC325 renal spray for plant ligation in patients with bleeding viruses. Surgery when the hemostasis fails via tap, band ligation, sounds, or insufficient transduction. Next up is lower GI bleed. Definition is intraluminal blood loss visible or occult anywhere from ligament of breeds to anal. Types acute, severe acute, subacute, or chronic. Acute causes may be diverticulosis, angiodysplasia, IBD, ischemia, and macular diverticulum. Very acute causes are diverticular disease, ischemia, macular diverticulum. Subacute causes involve pressures, hemorrhoids, polyps, and IVD. Chronic causes involve polyps, hemorrhoids, fissures, colon carcinoma, IVD, and endodysplasia. Clinical features: acute is more diffuse, red color diarrhea, or hematopoiesis with or without shock. Chronic has a constant loss, and subacute has bright blood after routine defecation. These are painless and blood during after repetition, in a patient that is painful, pain occurs during defecation only. Investigation is general, we have to take the history, examination, full work down and cross match. Specific investigation involves LFT, RFT, coagulation profile, digital rectal examination, fecal occult blood test. Sigmoidoscopy, angiography is the gold standard and colonoscopy performs bleeding free time of 12 hours at least. Differential diagnosis may be for the young patients, IBD, fissures and hemorrhoids, old patients, and dysplasia. General management involves blood tests, dietary modification, stop acids and aspirin, specific management, treat the underlying cause, electrocoagulation, therapeutic angiography with intra-arterial vessels present. Late involves a surgical correction via the endoscopy or resection of bowel. In case of diverticular disease or injured dysplasia, bleeding stops spontaneously if not go for a surgical resection in diverticular and uh, endoscopic thermal ablation and injured dysplasia. Bound ischemia to be resected in case of peritonitis only. This is the scenario. Features are recurrent abdominal pain, female, floating for 4 months, constipation alternating with diarrhea and passing stool with straining. This is a typical scenario of for irritable bowel syndrome. We are going to discuss this topic next. Definition characterized by the recurrent abdominal pain associated with abdominal defecation in the absence of any structural abnormality of cup. Types are diarrhea dominant and constipation dominant. Etiology biopsychosocial factors, physiological factors, and luminal factors by fetus biases, food intolerance, gluten insensitivity, and semicyclates. Serotonin will increase or decrease is most important factor. Serotonin stimulation increases. Serotonin receptors may be decreased or increased stimulation in diarrhea or constipation. Incidence that's more in females and more than 50 years of age. Clinical features are pain that is colicky in nature and relieved on defecation, bloating, abdominal discomfort, low weight. 
plus no one in Seoul or Palatine. Alarming features are greater than 50 years of age, weight loss, family history of colorectal cancer, nocturnal symptoms, and rectal bleeding. Differential diagnosis with maybe celiac disease, microscopic colitis, very diarrheal disease, you can write. Children and your physicians, history you have to ask the own criteria about the abdominal curve, discomfort in the last three months, and looking for defecation or not. Do the abdominal examination and ask for full of sound, April 12 for tactile, sigmatoscopy, coronoscopy, and perineum polypry. General management involves these three types, like dose exclusion, dietary management, and reassurance. Pain management on the top of all. With hypopain, codeine, and azithromine, for diarrhea, give eye fluids, oral fluids, anti-diarrhea, and serotonin agonist. For constipation, give lexative and serotonin antagonist. Patient having blue stools for the past six months, fat and bulky in nature, pale, and float on the pan with a frequency of three or four per day. Bone pains, as well as general weakness. Uh, she is pale, have edema feet, and a stranded abdomen. It's a typical scenario of celiac disease. This is another scenario that involves weight loss, abdominal distension, bloating, recurrent anemia and diarrhea, calcium of stool, blunting, and flattening of the lie as well. We are going to discuss celiac disease, starting with the definition of celiac disease. Inflammatory disease of small bowel and genetically susceptible individuals against gluten, wheat, rye, or oats. There is basically IgA and the endomycin antibody production due to gene mutations. This is the mechanism that produces the inflammatory cytokines, TNF, and interleukin splits. This is not important for examination. Kids are more prone to cell disease in 30s or 40s and children of 6 months to 2 years. Factors may be genetic, environmental, or neurological. Gender factors have family history, monopsychotic points, and age-related DQT. 90% of the cases. Factor factors may be gluten or viral infection or antibiological or antibodies. Clinical features as children may be diarrhea, delayed growth, and stool that is bulky, greasy, and difficult to see a flush and pale in color. In adults, the important features are weight loss, iron and folate deficiency, osteoporosis, and peripheral neuropathy. Other complication symptoms include general investigations, right history, examination, Output count and fluid analysis. Specific investigation you have to write blood chemistry, serum antibodies, tritium biopsy, barium polythrough, and environmental wound history. TBs can be any disease that causes a diarrhea or constipation, like stool, lupus disease, microscopic colitis, lymphoma. Complications are hypothyroidism and dysbiosis, but not vitamin C from deficiency. General management of gluten free diet, dietary counseling, and reassurance. Specific involves glutamate corticoids, immunosuppressants, vitamin supplements, and immunofocal vaccination due to hypothyroidism. Curve. Definition the plasma regurgitation of stomach liquid into esophagus during the secretion erosions and lesions. Curve can be used in any abnormal blood level such as a splinter like lateral anemia that causes a delayed esophageal collapse or gastric content desaturation or delayed dancing. Factors that increases skirt and laying down, straining, obesity, coffee, banding and pregnancy. And the drug that causes uh, increased skirt is anticoinergic, nitrates and gases found in chocolate, alcohol and tobacco. That decreases skirt are small meals. Clinical features, the most common is heart pain and desaturation. And other symptoms may be a twist in chest pain or dysphagia, chronic cough, nocturnal asthma, Major erosions and of course, iron deficiency anemia due to the alcohol steering. Investigations are usually not required to make the diagnosis, but after 50 to 55 years of age, you need period follow, upper GI endoscopy, biopsy, esophageal manometry, and imperial test to diagnose. Complications may be Paris esophagus, the most common one, esophagitis, strictures, carcinoma, and aspiration that causes meningitis. Gastric iron volume increases, perforation, obstruction, alteration with bleeding and strictures. General treatment involves all those factors reduction that increases burn, sleep at hello, reduce weight, tea, coffee, late night meals, alcohol, stop smoking. This 
Quick management feature was PPL to better tool stroke rate tree and basis electrolytes. H2, receptor antagonist, iron, and glucose and magnesium supplements, triplenation, and physical treatment in all cases and doctors. definition, which is motility disorder characterized by impairment of exercise peristalsis. Associated with chagas and sarcoidosis. Degeneration of inhibiting neurons in the mind direct plexus. Actually, the nitric oxide is released by inhibiting neurons that causes the peristalsis disorder. Clinical features is intermittent progressive dysphagia, more for solids and less for liquids, and other symptoms. General investigations is history and examination. Specific investigations involve chest x ray, cranial swallow, esophagoscopy, and endoscopy, bird beak sign. General treatment sleep with a pillow on their head, avoid late night moods, dietary counseling, and reassurance. Specific treatment medical nifedipine and nitrates. Endoscopic with spinal dilatation and botulism toxin in the intraspinal tarax. Physical is hyaluronic myotomy, the most common and the most important one. Complications can be good, the most important one, and reflux esophagitis, aspiration pneumonia, and predisposes to squamous cell carcinoma of esophagus. To avoid GERD and esophagitis, do partial anterior frontal flexion. The next topic is puberty. Mucosal alterations or teeth erosions and the lining of the aphid bearing regions of GID that is stomach and duodenum. Most common is physical nature of stomach and perspiratory duodenum, more common in males. Causes are H. pylori, NSAIDs, alcohol, and smoking. Clinical features are nausea, vomiting, dyspepsia, anorexia, at least diet, and anemia. Specific features that help in diagnosis is in the case of stomach ulcer, the pain is localized, burning in nature, and found soon after eating with weight loss. While in the case of duodenal ulcer, the pain is relieved on eating, starts 2 to 4 hours after eating, and weight gain. General investigations uh, you will write history, examination, FTC, and ECG. Invasive investigations will be rapid urease test, biopsy, stool culture, non invasive with C13 urea breath test. Stool antigen test, endoscopy, and varium needs. General treatment pain relief for the help of uh, analgesics, dietary counseling, NSAIDs, avoid alcohol and smoking. Specific medical treatment involves triple regime for H. pylori and H2 receptor blockers or antagonists as the first line therapy, like pimotidine and azatidine. Physical treatment is partial gastrectomy and bucotomy. Diabetes may be good, gastritis, acute MI, acute cholecystitis, acute pancreatitis, esophageal perforation, and cyst. The Navy, six months history of chronic diarrhea associated with a lower abdominal crampy pain, and the stool contains mucus and blood. Uh, she's pale, have mild tenderness. Uh, all the investigations are given below, like she's anemic. Her DLC is raised and EFR is also raised, so there may be an underlying chronic inflammation. The most common diagnosis is inflammatory bowel disease, maybe Crohn's or ulcerative colitis. We will do this in the form of some better. Chronic inflammatory disease of bowel with relapsing in the middle goes. It is mostly common in the two weeks of age, that is 20 to 40 years or up to 60 years. Ecological features involves area which involves ulcerative colitis is usually rectum, but uh, the inflammation can be sent up to colon as well. Genetic causes is mutations in the HL area omega 3, HRF 4A, NAM1, and CDH1. Environmental factors that is more common non smokers, ex smokers, and the individuals in which the gut microbiota are altered. Types on the basis of the site may be proctitis, left sided colitis, or fan colitis. Morphological features is the there is involvement of the mucosa or submucosa. Ulcers are glass shaped and uh, can be double tracking. There is no formation of fistula, but toxic metaphalon is a complication. Uh, they appear as a continuous pattern that involves the whole colon, not in the form of patches as in the Crohn's disease. Excellent to standard manifestation is anemia, stromatitis, abscess ulcers, abdominal tenderness, perianal skin tags or fissures. Extra intestinal manifestations are really important on the basis of SEQs. Conjunctivitis can also be seen, iritis, fatty liver, 
hepatitis and of course primary biliary cholangitis venous thrombosis erythromelalgia pyridemic ligation and callosis spondylitis and arthritis clinical features general clinical features are or the constitutional features are anorexia malaise fever weight loss and diarrhea clinical features that are specific to ulcerative colitis are bloody diarrhea with mucus tenesmus frequently small volume stools palatine stools due to constipation and abdominal cramps frequency may be increased to 4 to 6 or more than 6 stools per day differential diagnosis of ulcerative colitis can any di- any disease that uh, has a bloody diarrhea like diabetic colitis ischemic colitis cholangitis colitis carcinoma crohn's disease Shigellosis, celiac disease, Whipple's disease, tropical spleen, or blind loop syndrome. Further investigations: FPC, that is full blood count, ESR, CRP, stool culture, and abdominal X-ray. All those investigations that can detect the inflammation in an individual will be included in investigations like ESR and CRP. Specific investigations is endoscopy of upper GIT. It is diagnostic because it excludes the pathology of upper GIT. Biopsy, that is a confirmatory test. Medium anema, ileovolumoscopy, that is diagnostic of ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. CT colorogram, MRI enterography, and antibodies like PNK and ASCA that differentiates upper ulcerative colitis from Crohn's disease. General treatment involves lifestyle modifications, stop smoking, nutritional supplement support, and reassurance. Specific medical treatment as sulfasalazine. If patient doesn't respond to it, then give oral glucocorticoids with a minus cycle semicyclates. If doesn't respond, then give TNF inhibitors and thiopurines. Surgical is curative treatment that is pan proto-colectomy with the ileostomy or with ileal anal pouch anastomosis. Refractory disease is the present and give immunosuppressants. Active proctitis can be treated with uh, mesalazine or glucocorticoids. Maintenance therapy is 5 amino cyclates or, or sulfasalazine if coexistence. Complications are usually hemorrhage, fistula, nephrolithiasis is very common and very important complication, and narcotic abuse. Other complications can be carcinoma, chorolithiasis, life-threatening, uh, toxic dilatation of colon that is megacolon. colonic perforation anorectal disease malabsorption of vitamin b12 growth retardation and psychosocial issues that's it up severity of disease can be assessed with a mild moderate or severe mild disease has uh, no other abnormality except uh, that on sit microscopy there can be edema or granular mucosa uh, the daily bowel frequency is less than 4 usually and mild disease in moderate diseases uh, there are only two problems that is the frequency of bowel is increased to 4 to 6 and uh, there is blood in the stool and uh, stool volume is increased from 200 to 400 grams per 24 hours in the severe cases there are all uh, all factors are deranged like frequency is increased to greater than 6 with diarrhea and 400 gram per 24 hours uh, stool Uh, there is tachycardia temperature uh, vision is paraxic hemoglobin is decreased esr is increased serum albumin is decreased abdominal x ray shows dilated loops and on sig microscopy there is severe mucosal ulceration this is the scenario an 18 year old girl presents with chronic diarrhea weight loss she has bloating feeling and has stool that are difficult to flush she has a, rec- a history of recurrent mouth ulcers and excess ulcers are diagnostic of what we have started here that is ulcerative colitis how uh, what should be just that should be taken we will divide it into the journal and the specific management next is inflammatory bowel disease that is the crohn's disease keep in mind the color coding orange for crohn's disease and yellow for ulcerative colitis definition is the same as for the ibd The area involved is uh, mouth to anus. Any area can be involved, but tracking is usually spared. 
Shelter causes cyst effects in the innate immunity. Autophagy, HLA lowers immune signaling due to the India Ligon 23 and India Ligon 10. Environmental factors are stress, smoking, high refined sugar diet. Types of the basis of the site, glial, ileocolonic, colonic, and perianal. On the basis of the time period, it can be acute or chronic. Morphological features and remission is transmural, ulcers are deep fissuring ulcers and snake-like fistula can be formed. Appearance is cobblestone that is patchy and granulomas are present. Extra clinical manifestation is same as those of ulcerative colitis, anemia, stomatitis, abscess ulcers, tenderness, perianal skin tags or fissures. Conjunctivitis, iritis, fatty liver, hepatitis, primary biliary cholangitis. Iritis is usually present in the scenarios. Venous thrombosis, erythema nodosum, pyoderma cankerosum, encalacing spondylitis, and arthritis. General clinical features or constitutional features are anorexia, malaise, fever, weight loss, and diarrhea. In the ileal disease, there is abdominal pain watery diarrhea, increased pain on eating, and intestinal obstruction. There are all features of bran absorption present like fat, protein, and vitamin deficiency, Crohn's colitis, abdominal cramps, bloody diarrhea, rectal swelling, and perianal disease with tenesmus. In the case of differential diagnosis of Crohn's disease, it can be any disease with bloody diarrhea or watery diarrhea like mesenteric adenitis, lymphoma, PID, infective diarrhea, or non infective causes as well. So, the specific investigations to Crohn's disease is for blood count, PSR, CRP, stool culture, abdominal x ray, fecal calprotectin, dated count, serum albumin, small bowel, follow through, ultrasound, wireless capsule endoscopy, endoscopy of upper GID, is diagnostic, biopsy, perineum anemia, ileocolonoscopy, CT colonogram, MRI enterography, and antibodies like VNK and ASCA. General treatment is lifestyle modifications, stop smoking, nutrition. Specific medical treatment involves systemic corticosteroids. If no response, then give butyrosinoid, and still no response, then give the biological agent with or without thiopurine or methotrexate. Surgical treatment is not curative in case of Crohn's disease. Complications is life threatening colonic inflammation, hemorrhage, fistula, carcinoma, cholelithiasis, nephrolithiasis, and narcotic abuse. Toxic dilatation of colon, colonic perforation, inolectal disease, malabsorption of vitamin B12, growth retardation, and psychosocial issues. On to the next topic that is colorectal cancer, and it is very, very important in medicine and surgery as well. It is the most common malignant tumor of GIT. It's present in the age of 60 to 65 years and second most common malignancy overall. There is no incidence in the patients taking aspirin and NSAIDs in young age can occur by malignant transformation. Predisposing factors are the dietary factors, medical ailment or other factors, dietary may be red meat, saturated animal fat, medical ailment, the most common is cross disease or ulcerative colitis, maybe adenoma or fat, others are smoking, alcohol and obesity. Pathophysiology is chromosomal instability, microsatellite instability, CPG island methylated phenotype and associated genes in HPNN, APC, SK, STK11, mu, MUTYH. Clinical features in the left colonic carcinoma, fresh rectal bleeding, fresh rectal bleeding, obstruction in the early stage, tenesmus, dried blood stools, and altered bowel habits. In the right colonic carcinoma, there will be iron deficiency anemia, occult bleeding, polypoid mass, melina, and obstruction is in the late stage. In general investigation, as history that is very important. An examination, there will be pallor, depicting anemia, abdominal mass, hepatomegaly, and muscle wasting. FPC, full blood count, CEA levels, that is a tumor marker. Specific investigations involve fecal occult blood test, 
Perian Inma, Siti Abdomen, or Colonography. Siti also ruled out the metastasis. Colorectal biopsy, colonoscopy is the investigation of choice for colorectal cancer, sigmoidoscopy, pelvic MRI, ultrasound abdomen, and after diagnosis, evaluate the abdomen, chest, and pelvis for metastasis, and it is evaluated with the help of CT scan, which shows lymph nodes enlargement. Staging is on the basis of Stukes criteria, and it is very important uh, on the point of SEQ, A, B1, B2, C1, and C2. From only mucosa involved to serosa plus nodal involvement. Gender management is psychosocial support, reassurance, and dietary counseling. Specific involvement uh, of uh, management is surgical, surgically resection of the affected part, that is, colon or rectum. New achievement radiotherapy or chemotherapy and one week course of radiotherapy prior to surgery to reduce the size of tumor mass. To prevent colorectal cancer in the population, there should be the screening of people over 50 years of age called gold standard uh, for the screening as colonoscopy and if there is family history then the start screening at 40 years of age or 10 years younger than the earliest diagnosis in the family.